As the expected September release nears, developers have now received another taste at iOS 8 in the form of Beta 4. Fans of Control Center will be happy to see a slight redesign when swiping up now, keeping all of the same features as before, but with a more blurred look. Now personally, the new design reminds me a lot of the look and feel you get from the new Mac OS Yosemite, and maybe that's what Apple was going for. Either way, it's better looking and just as effective. Also new in Beta 4 are new options for message history. Users can now decide to keep a video for 2 minutes or a year, and even your regular messages for the same or even 30 days. Easy to access under message settings, if you want to switch things up, you can now do so in a variety of different ways. And one of the more noticeable changes to iOS 8 is that the dedicated app for reporting bugs in the betas is now gone. Developers with the beta installed before used to have a stock app for sharing their findings, and even had an option to do so in the notification center. But maybe Apple is confident enough to get rid of it. Definitely an interesting change, for sure. And last but not least, new to iOS 8 Beta 4 is the Tips app, a new stock application where users can go back weekly to find new tips to help familiarize themselves with the new software and its tweaks and features. Just swipe your way through each tip, which has a short description and a picture attached. And you can even like them or even simply tap to share them with your friends. Definitely a new approach for Apple when introducing new software. It should be helpful for users of all types. A nice go-to for learning what's new. All in all, iOS 8 seems to be at a steady pace of progression, getting it ready just in time for the fall. Other minor bug fixes were attached in the latest update, and a new home data icon can also be found in Beta 4. And you can be sure to check out more iOS 8 news and more right here on Coltamac.com. Well, there you have it. That was a quick look at the newly released iOS 8 Beta 4. But what do you think about these new tweaks? Do you like them or not? Or what do you hope to see before the public release this fall? Be sure to let us know on Twitter or right down there in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, go ahead and do me a favor and click that like button. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to see more awesome videos posted like this seven days a week. This has been Joshua Smith of Coltonmac.com.